So you've taken care of some of the basic administration tasks and that's great. Now it's time to think about configuration. And when you log in and you look under the configuration menu, you'll see there's a lot of options and it can be quite confusing to work out what are the options we're setting and why are we doing this? And as I mentioned previously, the best way to think about this is to think in terms of what settings affect the system, what settings relate to the access points, and finally, what settings directly relate to the WLANs, the devices that will connect to the WLANs, and the users that will be using those devices. So let's look at that now. The first option under configure is to look at the system, and quite clearly this relates to the zone director. But later on, we need to add in the other options that really relate to the zone director. And that's the alarm settings, the WIPs, the certificate, and the location services options. Next, we want to think about the access points. The access points are primarily configured under access points, but there's some other options too that relate to how the access points behave. That's maps, mesh, and services. Now it's time to think about the settings that relate to the WLANs, the devices, and the users. WLANs are configured mainly under the WLANs option. There's a number of other settings that also relate to WLANs devices and users. They are access control, roles, users, guest access, hotspot services, hotspot 2.0 services, AAA servers, DHCP relay, and bonjour.